Hello, this is Bruce Ramsey. The, today is uh, August 17th, 1992. Same day that you just heard the... Oh, what was it? Oh. Um, the robot talking. That's right. I'm gonna see what happens when I close these curtains pretty soon. See what happens, what it looks like. That's uh, better. Anyway, what happened? Let's see, I went to Modesto. I was there a week ago. I went down there a week ago. Came back yesterday, my parents. Let's see. Uncle Gerald's kind of in a bad way. He has cirrhosis of the liver. Don't know how long he'll be around on this planet. Uh, but, uh, while I was down there, he he kind of uh, surprised my dad at how uh, 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 defiant he is, and fearless he is uh, toward uh, the idea of being dead and non-existent. He's uh, um, he kind of disproved the idea about atheists and foxholes, if you know what I mean. That there are no atheists in foxholes. He kind of disproved that. Uh, he thinks that when he's dead, he'll become part of the Godhead. I asked him uh, what part of the Godhead meant, and he said, what, what part of the Godhead means, and he said it means absolutely nothing. But anyway, just in case he doesn't pull through this cirrhosis operation, this, uh, He's going to go under the knife uh, sometime this week. I thought I would get one of his poems that he wrote. Uh, it's the only poem, poem I know. And uh, it's kind of funny in a weird sort of way. Oh, no. Well, he's written. He writes weird letters that are usually drug-orientated, since he loves drugs so much. I mean, drugs are his religion, really. I mean, he doesn't have religion, so drugs are. And, uh, we, my, me and my cousin Eric asked him if he were going to quit taking drugs from now on, since they're killing him, especially cocaine. 
and you know saying well which is your head of Gerald a long life with your darling children or a short life with drugs and he said a short life with drugs so he would rather go out happy I guess you could say I can call having your uh, liver fall apart being happy I don't see how that can be but anyway I guess teach his own anyway let's see here uh, See, there's something I was going to say. I just can't think of it right now. But uh, he's definitely going to still take drugs. And uh, he says that when he dies, he'd like his uh, ashes thrown, his, his fucking ashes thrown in the trash somewhere. And well, he's just very macho and very uh, well, <laughs> I don't know I, I think that uh, well I think he's going to survive though because I think God likes guys like that I think uh, Gerald is God's uh, black mutant uh, God's pet, like Hitler was, and Stalin, and, and Saddam Hussein, and Yasser Arafat. I think those are God's pets, and God protects them, uh, gives them armies of angels, or hell's angels, or whatever, to keep them around on the earth to uh, entertain him. They'll make life hell for us on this side, but, you know, this is the Veil of Tears, so... Uh, so he'll have to take care. Of, he, that's why he probably uh, gives them free reign and makes life uh, interesting, which is probably why the rapture uh, doesn't take place. But anyway, this is Uncle Gerald's poem I got from before he died. As my formless form cast a shadow that blocks up the sun at high noon. Holy Lucifer trembles in holy chair. Yours truly, Sheba. <laughs> Goes, as my formless form casts a shadow that blocks out the sun at high noon, Holy Lucifer trembles in holy terror. Yours truly, Sheba, which is the god of destruction and reproduction. Hindu god. Okay. But anyway, I thought a poem that really seems to fit Uncle Gerald to a T is the poem called Invictus by this guy named Henley, who lived from 1849 to 1903. It really seems to fit Uncle Gerald, so I'll read it to him. I'll read it to you. So you say. <sighs> Out of the black night that covers me, Black as a pit from pole to pole. I think whatever gods may be for my unconquerable self. In the fell clutch of circumstance, I have not winced or cried aloud. Under the bludgeoning of chance, my head is bloody, but unbound. Beyond this place of wrath and tears looms but the horror of the shade, and yet the menace of the years finds and shall find me unafraid. It matters not how straight the gate, how charged the punishments, the scroll. I am the master of my fate, the captain of my soul. I think that poem sums up Uncle Gerald perfectly. You know, <laughs> he is Invictus. He's un unconquerable. Even if he dies and goes to hell, he's unconquerable. I think that's Uncle Gerald. 
over and out. Hello, this is Bruce Ramsey. The date today is August 21st, 1992. And I have news to report. Uncle Gerald is doing great. He came through that dangerous operation that had a...